Hey guys, what's going on? Tool Cruise, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about bike locks. So I'm gonna be talking about some basic tips for when you lock up your bike, some things that you should look out for, some things that you gotta be careful about, and some basic advice on how you should lock up your bike, what kind of locks that you wanna use. And generally, one of the more popular locks for cyclists is U-Locks. So this lock was sent over to us by Via Velo. They're the sponsor for today's video. So thanks to them for sending this over. We're going to be doing a quick review on this lock, and we'll be talking about some of the benefits and disadvantages of U-Locks. One of the big pluses about this lock so far, though, is it comes with this frame mount. So you can just lock it in place like this, and it just sits right in the center of the frame. These locks are generally pretty heavy, and you can just keep it locked in the frame like this so you don't have to keep it on your body and your backpack, which is really nice. And today, I'm actually with my wife, Tun Chan. We're going to be doing some shopping together. So she's got her bike here and actually her lock is broken on her bike. So we're going to be challenging her skills today and see how well she can lock her bike. If she knows the right points to look for when locking her bike. So anyway, let's head over to the supermarket together. We got some shopping to do. First things first, we got to find a place to park our bike. And that's one of the first important steps. Anyway, let's go. So whether you're riding your bike to work, you're riding your bike to school, you're riding your bike to the supermarket, no matter what kind of cycling you're doing, it's always a good idea to bring a lock with you and keep your bike safe while you're doing your errands. So here we are, we're approaching the supermarket right now and we're gonna look for a safe place to park our bike. And generally, when looking for a place to park your bike, I like to find a place that is well lit, nearby security cameras, that gives you a little bit of extra security and we've got some indoor parking in here. It's always nice to be under a roof as well, just in case it rains. So let's go on it in here. And you'll see a lot of the bikes here in Japan actually have kickstands and they'll just be locked to themselves. So this is actually a really bad idea, but they get away with it with these bikes because they're on the cheaper end. And generally the more expensive your bike is, the more careful you wanna be. So it's generally a good idea to lock your bike to something that's more stable, that's not gonna move. So this is a pretty good idea, but you can see this is actually not bolted to the ground. This can be moved. This is a really busy area. So no one's really gonna get away with this, but if the bike was expensive enough and they have a big truck, they could easily bring this along with them if they wanted to. So we're actually gonna go to something a bit more stable over here. And you'll see, we've got this rack here. This is bolted into the ground. This is not moving. So this is where it all begins. You wanna have a stable point to lock your bike. So here we go, we're gonna line it up just right along there, get it as close as possible, and let's take the lock off. So this is the lock we'll be using today. This is by Via Velo, it's a standard U-lock, and this is the mount section for the bike frame mount, and this is the part where the key goes in. And you can actually move this so you can cover it so it doesn't get any extra mud in there or something. If it's rainy, you can block that entrance point, you can move that around. Um, one thing I noticed is that it does make a little bit of sound when you move it around like this, which can make some sounds when you're going over bumps when you're riding the bike. So just keep that in mind. Everything else though seems really solid. And first things first, we got to unlock it. The key that it comes with, it actually comes with three different keys. This one's pretty cool because it's got a built-in light. It's not a really powerful light or anything, but it's better than nothing. So if you're in a dark area, this can help you find the keyhole to get the key in. Anyway, we just put it in and pull it out like that. And the most important part when you lock your bike is you always want to lock your frame first and you want to lock your frame to the solid item. You go from the most expensive item first, so the most expensive item is going to be the frame, unless you're on carbon wheels. If you're on carbon wheels, you'll, you'll want to lock those probably first. So generally it's a good idea to lock the rear wheel and the frame together. So just hook it in like this and then lock it up. So that's just step one, but you also want to be really careful with your front wheel because if you're on a quick release front wheel, that can easily be stolen. So we want to lock this up as well. So this lock actually comes with another cable lock and most U-locks will come with this. It's a double-ended cable lock like this. So first we're gonna loop through the wheel and I'm gonna loop through the frame again just one more time. Loop this onto the U-lock and then close it up. So this way we've got our front wheel secured to the frame, secured to this lock and this lock secured to the pole, the frame and the rear wheel. So there we go, everything should be good to go. But one other thing you don't wanna forget is taking your extra valuables that are attached to your bike. So things like your light, things that can easily be removed. You wanna take those with you because these can easily be stolen and they can be a little bit expensive to replace. Anyway, that's enough for my explanation. Let's see if my wife can replicate the success. So let's take this off real quick and let's see if she can do this on her own. Jibun de dekiso. Not 
なんでロックした<笑>できましたイエーイ大丈夫だねうん So while we're here and on the topic of locks let me show you guys some of the Japanese locks so a lot of Japanese bikes will have built-in locks like this and really it just locks the bike in place with the rear wheel it's not really safe or anything because you can easily just throw it on the back of a pickup truck but actually on my wife's bike here she actually lost her lock so we actually had to break apart her lock here which is actually really difficult to do and now she doesn't have a working lock so let's see if this will work on her mama chari dozo tsukete mite kudasai and we're just going to practice over here real quickly for now see if this will work there we go good to go So fortunately, here in Japan, people are able to get away with just locking up their frame to their rear wheel like this. And you can see there's a couple different solutions. So this person's actually doing a double lock. They're doing the standard lock and they've got an extra wire lock here on the back. And that's really mainly because of the culture here in Japan, the low crime rate and everything. You don't really have to worry as much as you do as other places. But regardless of where you live, it's always a good idea to lock your bike and keep it safe. Anyway, we're going to go on into the store and finish our grocery shopping. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll leave some information down below about the lock that we used in today's video. So thanks again to Via Velo for helping sponsor today's video. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye. 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 B